These details, which its authors say, shows clear evidence that Elland Road is used as a major centre for recruitment by right-wing groups who are responsible for racist abuse and violence. At a press conference today, TUC officials said they hoped the report would result in more action being taken to clamp down on the hooligans. I hope it can focus the minds of the police, the community, the supporters and all genuine supporters of Leeds United to clear this racist abuse from our terraces and to ensure that the National Front doesn't get its fingers into our national game and our local team. The report says that those involved in racism are well organised. The court was told that a team of policemen went undercover on the terraces to infiltrate a gang of hooligans suspected of organising violence at Leeds United games throughout Britain. The officers assumed new identities and changed their appearances to mingle with the crowds in an operation codenamed Wild Boar. The court was told that the gang liked to be known as the Yorkshire Republican Army. Their leader was known as the General. Mr Michael Swift, prosecuting, said they met before games in Leeds City Centre. It was alleged Yates's Wine Lodge was one of three pubs where they discussed violence involving the police, black people and opposing supporters. The nearby Prince of Wales was another rendezvous for what Mr Swift said was virtually an army of football hooligans. Mr Swift told the court that the gang tried to incite opposing supporters on their way to a game at West Brom. On a second occasion, they went to Headingley Rugby League ground to fight rival Wigan fans. And on a third, they plotted violence at a match between Bradford and Millwall. It was claimed that the gang were highly organised. The court heard they managed to buy tickets to games through the Leeds United Supporters Club. An informant inside British Rail supplied them with the arrival times of football specials carrying rival fans. The jury was told that one member even took a camera to games to photograph the gang in action. Later, the court heard evidence about one of the defendants, 26-year-old former paratrooper, leader and organiser of the gang. A man obsessed, said Mr Swift, by football violence. His followers were known as Para's Army. The hearing is expected to continue tomorrow.